Hello again, so what we're looking at here is my tea bag only worm bin and unfortunately this worm bin has failed to thrive really. Looking at it, the amount of worms that I have in the bin is possibly a bit less than the worms that it started with several months ago. But there's lots and lots of cocoons as you can see there. This won't come out very well on the camera but as I sifted through this there's thousands and thousands of cocoons. So the worms are definitely reproducing in the bin, but the cocoons aren't hatching, and it's one of the properties of cocoons is they won't hatch if the environment isn't right for them. They're able to stay viable for an incredibly long time until conditions are right, and the cocoons just don't seem to be hatching in this bin, so the population isn't growing. Another reason there may be so many cocoons is that Worm populations, when they sense impending doom, reproduce at a phenomenal rate. So that could also account for the amount of cocoons that's in the bin. The worms themselves are sensing that they're dying, the population is dying, so they're trying to reproduce as fast as possible. So what I've decided to do is empty the bin out, give it a good clean, clear the four drainage holes at the corner that you can see there. And I'm going to add a couple of handfuls of the partially composted guinea pig bedding as you can see there's only about an inch of it so here it's the same stuff as I put in the cardboard only worm bin yesterday so there's only a thin layer of this on the bottom and onto that I'm going to add a fistful of the vermicompost from the tea bag only worm bin and then exactly the same as I did with the cardboard only bin I'm going to get 30 worms we'll remove them because they're going to mess up my count. So yeah, 30 worms will be added to this. It's the same as uh, yesterday. It's a mix of adults and juveniles. So here we have the worms ready to go in. I can't actually see if this uh, is a bit jumpy at the moment. And if it is, I apologise. The camera seemed to play up a little bit at this point. So... Apologies if the picture is jumpy, but um, I'll see a bit later if it's not. So we've added the worms to the worm bin, and all I'm going to do now is add about 30 tea bags. Uh, what I've done is I've mixed in a handful of ground-up eggshells, and that's to stop the bin from becoming too acidic right from the off, and to give the worms something to take into their gizzards to process it. So that's that, and what I'll do now is just cover with wet cardboard, and this will go and sit on top of the cardboard-only worm bin. So I'll need to check this a bit more often than the cardboard-only, because it'll need to be fed more. But I'll do a reveal on the Friday the 20th of January, and we'll just see how both of these bins compare. That's it. Thanks for watching.